with Sluffy's introduction, who is the master of the Italian squad and the star player of Ubers in the new Eagles League, we got to meet the last master. I don't count Loki in this case, as we have already seen him before. And with the introduction of Snuffy, the dynamic in the new Eagles League has completely changed. So before we got to meet Germany's master Noel Noah, who is the world's best player and a master that is very rational, calm and has the charisma of a champion around him, with Lavinio we got to see a master who is the definition of Jorga Bonito, and who lives and illustrates the beautiful side of football by example, and with Chris Prince we got to see a player who showed us that you can achieve your dreams with hard work. And then there is Snuffy, and Snuffy is different than the others, because unlike all the other masters who already achieved everything they wanted, who already reached the mountaintop, Snuffy is a master who is, although he has won several championships, still chasing his dream. In chapter 215, when Kanijiro introduced us Snuffy's backstory and why Snuffy became Uber's master in the first place, Snuffy's plan from the beginning was to make Baru the best striker in the world, but of course Baru refused his offers, as he wants to become the world's best on his own. But why would Snuffy look for Baru and see him as a project that he can develop? And to get a better understanding of Snuffy's motive, we need to take a deeper look into the philosophy of dreams, success and mistakes. Every human being on this planet, no matter which nationality, has something a common goal that everyone is striving for. Everyone is looking for one value, and that is happiness. And happiness can be reached by someone through different ways and factors that are related to it. Some people define happiness through their social life, by having friends they can rely on, by spending their life with the perfect love and build a family. Others define happiness through materialism and the ability to be able to afford whatever they desire. And others seek happiness through their social status. Over the years, football has created a resort for people to escape their current life, to escape poverty. A resort they can take to find everything they need that will lead them to happiness. Snuffy and his friend went this path and were lucky enough to be blessed with an outstanding skill that would differ them from other common footballers. Together, Snuffy and his friend were unstoppable and conquered the international world of football. But somewhere between all of their success, they made mistakes. Mistakes Snuffy wished he could undo. And now it seems like Snuffy feels that he is in his friend's debt and therefore has the big dream to win the only championship he is missing, the Scudetto. And recently Kanishiro is going through a very dark phase in Blue Lock, especially in the latest chapters. It seems like depression together with false promises, shattered dreams and more, which is a topic that affects several sportsmen and sportswomen, is a topic that is very important to Kanishiro and I love how he portrays it in the manga currently. And this is actually a topic that has been going through the whole manga since episode 1 or chapter 1 when Izagi was eliminated from the Nationals after he got defeated by Kira's high school. Later on at the end of the first selection and before the match against Team B, we got to experience fear through Igarashi, who admitted to Izagi that he was scared of failure, which would result into him returning back to the temple as a monk, which is something he wants to deny and which is the reason why he took part in Blue Lock in the first place. Kunigami, who changed his belief because of his failure and elimination, Naruhaya, who had a similar reason of fear like Igarashi, but unlike Igarashi, who had personal reasons why he was scared, Naruhaya thought of his family, his siblings, and the fear of not being able to give them the life they deserve if he fails. Later on, Kanishiro even introduced a character whose whole character and purpose was built on his lifelong illness and the question if he will be able to overcome it and be able to become a pro footballer despite his disability. The character I'm talking about is obviously Yukimiya and I love how Kanishiro wants to show to the fans and young people who might have to deal with a similar situation in real life that although they might have bigger obstacles to overcome than others, that they can still achieve their dreams if they work and fight hard enough for them. If you didn't know, Yukimiya is based on Edgar Davids, a former Dutch midfield legend who was active at the beginning of the 21st century and who became a legend although he had to deal with a rare eye disease during his career which is also the reason why Davids had to use glasses which became his trademark. And now, some chapters prior, before the match between Basel Munich and Ubers began, Kanjiro gave Hayori some background story and revealed that Hayori is also a character that has to deal a lot with the pressure because of his parents. Which leads to exhaustion mentally and physically. And we've already seen Hayori being tired of all the competitiveness and hard training he has to go through which also made him question if he has the talent to make it in Blue Lock. I feel like in general this is a common topic that Kanishiro wants to address and the real motivation of what Blue Lock is about. 
young people that are coming from different backgrounds and need to overcome different obstacles to achieve their dream, which is something in the business of sports every young talent has to deal with. And often in sports animes and mangas or also in real life, only the positive sides of dreams and goals are shown. And I like that Kanejiro is going a different way than others, but also focusing the negative sides and effects that come with it and the reality. And with the introduction of Snuffy, this whole case has definitely elevated to a whole new level. And Snuffy will play a major role for Baru, who has been treated as a big talent through the whole series, but who is also consistently under the potential of wasting his talent because of his ignorance and denial to cooperate with his teammates or stick to tactics and game plans. And in real life football, there have been several big talents who had the potential to become world class players, but failed in the end due to their own egoism or lack of self reflection. Mario Balotelli, for example, who has shown in several occasions in the past that he for sure had all the talent and skills to actually be a worker striker, but who never had the right attitude. Deli Alley, who was once England's greatest talent in the modern era and even had a market value of 100 million euros at one point, is now lost and ruined his career, although Jose Mourinho tried everything in his power to stop him from facing exactly this fate. So it will be interesting to see if Sanofi will be the one to help Baru to actually become Japan's true number one striker, or if he will just use him to fulfill his own dreams. Alright, what do you think about Snuffy, the whole topic and Baru in general? Let me know in the comments below and as always, stay safe and have a nice day.